welcome to the video i'm redecorating my room doing like a makeover thing uh yeah and i'm very excited about it it's been a long time coming i've been planning for it for like at least a month and i have finally some pieces coming in tomorrow i already have a few things that came last week but i have not touched them yet so yes we have some things that are already here a few things coming in tomorrow and a big big <laughs> delivery on saturday from ikea yeah that's basically the plan i'm not gonna be i mean it's not going to be like a huge makeover in terms of like i'm moving stuff around because i won't the setup of my room is like the best it can be probably my friends think the same <laughs> I needed to get like a second opinion. There's just going to be like the decor makeover. Yeah, and I don't think I'm gonna do everything in this video. Uh, there's some things that I'm not sure about yet and I'm probably going to figure out later. Anyway, we're gonna start doing a few things today and basically over the next few days things are going to start changing and I'm very, very excited about it. The first thing I've changed, and I actually I haven't recorded that because I'm I wasn't sure if I'm gonna like it, but I think I like it. I got this organizer for my, my desk. It's a little bit of a different color than like my desk, but it it that doesn't really bother me that much. It's just a bit warmer. It's not the final look yet. I I'm gonna finish my desk setup in a few days when I get a new lamp and some new things. But yeah, let me show you how it looks like right now. And this is what we are working with right now. I'm gonna have something different here. Basically, there's just a few drawers here. I have my pen drives, a few of my like lip balms and hair bands. Then there's just like stationary stuff like highlighters. And there's just um a few like colored pens and there's yeah, stuff that I don't really use, but I still want to have at my desk. I honestly don't remember the last time I changed something in my room. It probably was when I repainted it a few years back. Then I was living at the dorms during uni, so I only spent some weekends here and I didn't feel the need to change anything. After being back for a few months, I started noticing how unorganized some things were and how I could improve that. I started with my wardrobe and organizing the storage there. I don't have that many shoes, but they were scattered all over the house, so I wanted to keep them in one place, especially so they don't collect dust in some other room while I just forget about them. Those plastic boxes were the best option for now. Putting them together took me a while, but I figured it out at the end. Look at him. <laughs> He's been with me this whole time. Um, yeah, basically, I'm done. All 10 boxes are in my wardrobe already. I nearly uh, broke a finger while assembling them, but that's alright. Yeah, so now I just need to get all of the shoes that I want to put in here and basically like put them in place. But I'm gonna just put a few pairs that I already had in my wardrobe for now. A friend is coming over soon, so I kind of need to get my room looking better because right now it's a little bit of a mess. Task done. I'm very happy with the boxes. I hope they last long and they serve me well.
I used to do my makeup in the bathroom, but I didn't have that much storage or space there to keep it all in one place. Finally, I decided to do something about it and I bought those see-through organizing boxes that I've seen all over my TikTok and Pinterest. I finally have all my products in one place, which makes life just so much easier. I've been loving doing my makeup at my desk. I also just love how organized things are and how it all looks. morning happy saturday the sun's finally out yeah <laughs> the sun's finally shining a bit it's still a bit cold you probably can hear the birds outside because my window is open um and yeah today a little bit more things getting done than yesterday i'm waiting on delivery from ikea but it can come whenever from 8 a.m till 8 p.m so yeah i'm kind of you know nervously pacing around the house just waiting for it to get delivered already but i think i'm gonna have to wait at least a few hours i'm gonna just do some worky things now i need to study a bit for my korean lessons on monday just sitting doing things on my desk nothing really that interesting so i think i'll catch up with you after that My pin board is something I look at a lot. It's right above my desk, so sometimes, even unconsciously, I find myself looking at it. It just started to feel a bit boring to me in the last weeks, so I decided to change things up. I've already done a mood board for this year, so I wanted to do something different. I wanted to feel inspired every time I look at it. I decided to go with some Ghibli-inspired photos. Those movies always bring me so much comfort and inspiration. I wanted to transform those feelings into my board. I also found some quotes that just resonate with me. Overall, this board gives me spring and witch vibes, which are definitely some I resonate strongly with. Hi, it's the new day and as you can see behind me, uh, the mirror is already up. Basically, I'm kind of filming this quickly while the sun is still there. The weather has been insane and that's not even describing it enough. Basically, it got really dark yesterday, like super fast and I just, I was like, it's too dark to film now, I'll just show you the lamp in the mirror the next day and now it's the next day i just got ready i'm gonna go to dinner with my family and yeah i'm literally <laughs> i was like okay the sun is out after like five minutes of rain hail 
snow and like everything else yeah the sun is out again so i was like yeah let me come back quickly here is the mirror <laughs> i'll show it to you in a second but there is also a lamp on my desk that you saw me assemble yesterday and i'm gonna talk about it in a second there's also let me show you a new addition to my uh, bedside table and that is a water bottle and a glass from which i can drink the water uh yeah it's pretty i like it it's giving spring vibes i like the weather outside um yeah i love it okay so here is the mirror oh you can see me here hi and here is uh Karmelek sleeping and being a cutie basically this is the mirror it's a uh, floor length really big i'm very happy with it it's not fully ready yet i mean it's supposed to be attached to the wall now it's the plant is actually kind of like holding it in place but yeah i'm just i think i want to keep it here if i change my mind in the next few days then i'm just gonna you know put it somewhere else so we will see but yeah this is the biggest addition to my uh room and i love it <laughs> i've never had a mirror this big and it's yeah it's surprising how much it changes actually next thing is the lamp right here it looks kind of not that pretty right now but basically i wanted something more functional this is a a ring light actually also with a phone holder here so i can just put my phone here when i want it or like when i need to and this is just a ring light and yeah it has a few different settings and i'm, I'm very happy with it overall mostly for when i'm gonna be doing filming this is also like the front camera of my phone just so i can actually see myself right now while recording this um so yeah be aware that is is mirrored but yeah i wanted to show you how it looks like on camera i mean the light so this is me without any light and this is me with natural lighting you can also change uh this is the warm light this is the cold light but i like the natural one the most and above the lamp is my cardboard i think it's called basically i just did some changes as you saw it's a little bit more aesthetic filled with pictures from ghibli movies and yeah just some things i really like how it turned out i just needed a little bit of a change and there's still my yeah is it the dream catcher i think that's what it's called yeah i'm very happy with the changes that i made changed since the last time i talked to you basically monday and tuesday were for deep cleaning the house with my mom and deep cleaning my room on monday i don't remember the last time i actually did so much like cleaning sorting out and throwing out of things it's mostly done now i'm very happy with how everything turned out yeah there's like a few things that i still want to do or like a few things that i'm not sure about yet but other than that it's finished that's my 
room done i'm gonna show you everything kind of like the i did the before of like my room recording it all and now i'm gonna do the after the only thing that i'm kind of planning on is i actually want to buy uh the lego bouquet like the lego flowers and i'm planning to do that in like two or three weeks to just give that corner of my room a little bit more color yeah I'm, I'm not like vibing with it it's a little bit more blank right now and i don't really like that yeah i just need to play uh with some decor still maybe maybe i'm going to put a print on that wall or maybe not i'm not i'm literally not sure yet yeah i will just uh buy the flowers see how i like them i need to buy a vase for them because i don't think i have one also excuse if you can hear the wind all windows are closed but it, the wind is going crazy uh but it's sunny finally it has been sunny yesterday also yeah i'm just really happy i'm gonna show you like the tour of the room now so yeah i think that's it for today's video um, thank you for coming on this journey with me. It's been, well, seven days now in the making and the area that you can see behind me, this one, uh, that's what I'm talking about. It's a bit dull at the moment and like you can see the reflection of it in the mirror. So like, I just want to give it a little more life. Uh, so I think that's gonna come, yeah, like er early or like mid-April. Uh, so still quite soon. I'm very excited to buy the Legos. I've never actually had any Legos before So it's going to be a first time, but the flowers look beautiful and I'm very excited about that uh, But yeah, I just wanted to say a few words to end the video. It's Easter in a few days or like kind of around Easter time when you're watching this so I just wanted to Wish you a happy Easter if you're celebrating, of course, but overall just happy spring. I hope you're feeling good. I hope there is a lot of sun where you are. I hope you're warm. I wish you very, very best. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next week.